Yo! It's time! Heck of the North is tomorrow. Hero of the North is tomorrow. Are you guys ready? Are you as pumped as we are? We are pumped! Registration is off the hook. It's crazy. I can't believe uh, it's overwhelming. We, we do, I don't even, words can't describe how excited we are. I don't know if we're prepared, but we're going to do it our best. We're going to try our best. But uh, yeah, yesterday and the day before and uh, inbox, uh, like always, uh, all you last minute people, we had an early bird. We had a super early bird. Uh, numbers have been great the whole way through, but wow, did uh, things just light up uh, the last few days. So so thank you. Uh, really appreciate you are joining everybody on this uh, email. This is for everyone that's registered and, uh, and coming tomorrow. So uh, what you might not know is the heck started 11 years ago. Uh, it was an alternative to the Hell of the North, the Hell of the North being the scary off-road crazy race. And then we wanted to have uh, a road bike friendly version, uh, maybe more leisure, people come and enjoy themselves. Well, that didn't happen. The heck uh, right away became a hardcore, uh, you know, what was a time tour, uh, then became this hardcore race, uh, drawing uh, all the top riders in the province, even in the country, okay? so. That's what the heck is. It's it is a badass race. All right. So the hell might be scary for some. Uh, the heck is is uh, just as uh, hardcore and cool and fun. So so uh, hopefully you know what you signed up for. Uh, I guess one thing that uh, every year I get in front of everybody and I do this big safety speech and the emphasis on safety. Okay. So uh, we. Well, here, here's a joke, okay? Uh, what Do you know what the hardest part of learning to ride a bike is? The pavement. The pavement, folks. That's the hardest part, okay? So let's keep it safe. The, the idea of everybody coming to have fun, uh, you know, pushing the limits, uh, trying to get their bike across the line first. Like, I'm no stranger to this. I love this. This is what I live for, okay? So it's, it's weird that it's coming from me to talk about safety, but it, it's, it's true. We all want to go home. We all want to go home to our families. We uh, want to have some good stories, uh, you know, some great memories, but it's got to be safe. All right. This is a very unique event. The roads are open, completely open. All right. The, the, every intersection, you have to stop, look both ways, look after yourself. Y you need to not only look after yourself, but everybody around you. If you're in a group of 10, 20, 30, the entire peloton, you can't make decisions just for yourself. All right. Think about everybody else when you're making these decisions. Okay. So you come there, if you can make it through, but no one else can stop. All right, please, please, please. Uh, this event's been going on a long time and we want to keep it that way. Minimal mishaps. Uh, we had a streak there with nothing, nothing going on. Uh, you know, a couple little bumps uh, last year, which broke the streak. But for the most part, a very safe event and we want to keep it that way. So the emphasis will be on safety. I'll do another reminder tomorrow, but please do not go over the yellow line. Don't, um, you know, when we start, there's be, uh, you know, 150 people in a mass start event. We're going to do a neutral it's you know we'll take up the whole road you know it's great for photos it's you know it should be pretty relaxed and chill don't be fighting for position when it's neutral you know as soon as we start uh, immediately it's gonna go uh, single file strung out there'll be a lot of space to move up okay a lot of space so just use that when the when it when we say go and the lead car rides away that's when you can advance okay and so before that just stay in your lane stay calm keep it really safe all right, we can, if you got questions tomorrow, hit me up with anything. And, and this goes for the whole video, so you can always uh, ask me after. Uh, course changes. There's uh, uh, some construction and uh, we've had to really reroute the course. So it's not the same course as before. Any of your files from uh, previous years, uh, please disregard. Uh, with this uh, video will be uh, brand new um, Files and maps, uh, the tech guides updated, all the maps are updated as of yesterday. The course is fully marked. Uh, we went out there, it's safe, it's really great. It's actually might be an improvement from the past. We're coming down the, uh, the second uh, instead of the, no, we're coming down the fourth instead of the second. And uh, yeah, it's actually a really beautiful road. So we, you might like it. Uh, similar elevation, the distance uh, doesn't go much farther. I mean, uh, instead of uh, just over 70K, I believe it's around 78K now. So for the, for the entire race and the elevation stays the same. So one of the tricky parts is you come down to WAG, you come across WAG, you make a left on the second, you come down, it's all the course the same. There's a gravel section, it's hard packed. It's a 
awesome feature. This is not something to be uh, worried about in any way. Uh, it's fantastic. You know, it's some loose gravel. It's dusty, uh, depending if it rains or you know. But right now we drove it yesterday. It's 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 great. Uh, definitely road bike friendly. I, I don't know about the twenty thousand dollar road bike. That's something you might want to leave at home. But uh, you know, uh, it's it's definitely something not to worry about. When you get back up and you make left on WAG again to come back, this is the second time on this road. On the second turn time around, you, you don't turn left to go south again, you come straight back. Okay, so we've got some volunteers there to change the signs and that, but please follow the GPS. So over the years, we've had uh, people pulling down signs or remarking things on the road, playing games. GPS is king. Okay, so if you come there and you're, you're anytime you're uh, worried about the signage or not knowing where to go, please follow your GPS, download those files, and uh, and if you don't have that, you know, there's a good chance someone in the group will, right? So they're just, you know, again, looking after each other, asking questions, hey, left, right, you know, pointing things out. You, you can still settle things physically, and, you know, you can definitely beat people, but when it comes to being kind or safety, knowing which way to navigate, you know, look after each other again. Uh, the finish, we... We come up, we go up to Vivian, we come across Vivian, and this is the change, the big change for this year is we're now, instead of finishing on Vivian, we're gonna come down the 9th, back to Aurora Road, and we're gonna finish right in front of the community center where we started. So the start and finish is the same location. The, I want this to be hard, okay? We all want this to be a hard race because when you string it out and there's it, pockets of people, we don't have 100 people coming in and sprinting to the line. We, we can't have that, all right? So it needs to, there's many features and climbs uh, along this course for it to be broken up. And the, the harder it is, the more spread out everyone will be. And then you can come in as singles, you know, maybe someone solos in. Uh, ideally, it would be great to set uh, a new, you know, fastest all time. If we do that, it'll be safe, okay? So keep that in mind. No big mass sprint finish. If you're sitting in for a big bunch finish or you think you're trying to race negatively to have it all come in as a group, uh, yeah, that's not this race, okay? So please, it's, uh, it's the other way around. Blow it apart, come in as uh, pockets of riders, and then, you know, you just can sort it out onesie, twosies, see who can, uh, you know, uh, be the fastest on the day, okay? That's, that's the safe way to approach it. Come back. Uh, the, the Heck of the North is presented by Cremor Springs. Uh, we have a beer garden waiting for you there. Ice cold Cremor Springs beer will be waiting there. Come back, uh, food truck, uh, music. We, we want this after party the best it's ever been. Uh, before the heck, we have a, a charity ride, the Hero of the North, uh, that'll be taking place. They will already be returned. They're going out for a nice leisure 35K. We have some amazing special guests that are out there. Um, and then they're gonna be uh, you know, coming back, enjoying themselves. They'll already be in the beer garden, having fun, waiting your arrival, cheering you on, uh, and then hopefully you can stick around and have a blast. Okay, so that's that's something that we really uh, worked hard on this year. Uh, here's some uh, prizing. Everybody in the top five on both the uh, the heck male and female will both go home with a, a Cremor Springs inspired pint glass. Make sure you're grabbing stickers. We've got swag stickers. Uh, made up some T-shirts. So again, if you want to. I don't know if you can see that in the sun, but uh, the weather looks to be great. The course is nice and clear. What else have I said here? Uh, big turnout uh, means, uh, you know, lineups. It means uh, lines up registration, lineups for the bathroom, lineups for food. Uh, so just please uh, be patient. Um, you know, this is the biggest this event's ever been. Uh, we've got lots of wonderful volunteers. Uh, this event is impossible without these uh, incredible people that give up their time, their uh, so be kind, all right. Be nice. Really, uh, you know, know they're they're on their own time and they're doing this for you. They're here for you. Okay. So so with a, a crowd, sometimes uh, yeah, we can get a little testy. Please keep that to a minimum. I uh, want to thank uh, Windspace for being the presenting sponsor of the Hell of the North the following day. Another big turnout. It's going to be incredible. Uh, Creamore Springs presenting sponsor of the Heck of the North. Bellofix doing SAG support for many years, uh, well looked after uh, and doing the follow vehicle. We've got uh, uh, first aid uh, doing another follow vehicle. Racetimings.ca uh, always does an awesome job of the timing. Um, uh, ASC photography and Ivan Roops photography. We've got professional photographers in the lead vehicle and taking candid shots, um, you know, throughout the day. The real hero will be there. Okay, so look for the mascot. Make sure you're getting selfies and pictures. And and with all the photos and content you put up, please tag us. Please, uh, you know, it's it's impossible for us to see it all. But if you're tagging us, we can see it. We can reshare it, repost, and. Uh, 
yeah, as far as I think that's everything. So really looking forward to uh, tomorrow. Please come up, say hi. It's going to be a busy day all over the place, but I, you know, I definitely want to um, thank you in person for um, making the, uh, you know, um, the, I don't know, the trip to come enjoy with us. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Thanks again. Bye.